Um, I had been suffering for at least 10 years with headaches and had tried all different kinds of combinations of things to try to get it resolved. And finally got control of the headaches through a neurostimulator that was inserted in my chest here and with uh, wires in my head that basically cured the headaches. However, um, I guess what I what we came to find out was that my headaches were caused by were neck, cervical issues. And you think the neck was causing the... Any of this stuff. So at every level, right, where you have basically the closest thing you have to normal looking discs are going to be through here. And if you look... Mm -hmm. Wow. This is, this is what feeds the pain that you'll feel. So years ago, you know, probably like 30 years ago, there was loss of normal curve and whiplash and these kind of things that had happened and the body started this process and there's a lot of inflammation because the nerve roots feed out through here and that's what's going to cause you a lot of misery potentially migraines from even just that you know and then from there it slowly goes from this over the years to mm -hmm. and the lower s cervical spine bears the brunt of the bad mechanics. So if you can imagine, if you're walking around and that head should be back here, there's gonna be a lot of pressure through this part mechanically. Mm. And those didn't clear up with the neurostimulator. It was a little better, but still, um, I was having neck pain and waking up with neck stiffness. So um, one, of the, one of the ladies at my church had been a client here, a patient here. She asked me if I had ever gone here and I said no I didn't know anything about it so she said you should give him a call because it might help you um, it's worth trying so I did and made the appointment and came in and got got the adjustment and then I also got signed up with Joe to do the you know the muscle activation technique which uh, that was awesome as well so uh, so yeah I mean I've had I've had varying levels of relief um, I think a lot of it has to do with stress level, um, the way I sleep, uh, and the fact that I have a really bad neck. I was told that I'm not even a candidate for surgery because I have so many levels in my neck that are um, that are bad. So it could be anything other than the atlas, but at least I know the atlas is in place and if that was giving me grief, that's no longer an issue. From time to time, I think he's had to readjust it once or twice, but, uh, but um, it's just something that I have to deal with. At least now it's manageable. Um, and thank God I don't have the headaches anymore because those were debilitating. It's given me some relief, but it doesn't, it, it hasn't been 100% every day, but um, you know, I wasn't expecting that. And I know that my neck has so many issues. It's emanating from somewhere else. It's not really not that much that anyone can do at this point other than try to uh, minimize the pain and control the, positions of sleep or uh, sitting or you know those kinds of things that I have some control over. So. I was doing really well there uh, you know, on the beach and relaxing and having a great time as soon as I get back you know, with all the stresses of life. Back. You know I woke up with my normal neck ache. And, uh, I don't know it might have something to do with my bed too. Right? If you're in different beds and it's okay, that's how you know. Yeah. yeah. You'd want to try to find a bed as close to what tends to work for you. Yeah, that bed was, uh, was a lot harder. Our, our bed is uh, real soft. soft and it's starting to sag. And it's one exactly. of the most expensive piranha beds, but it just doesn't seem to be doing it. Firmer <laughs> tends to be better. Yeah, yeah. So we're, as soon as I get my knee done, which is next Monday, I'm recover from that. If it's night and day different how you feel when you wake up, it's your body. Yeah. It could be stress too, but it's yeah. if it's hot when you wake up, well, you feel different. You know, it's always stress coming back. And, you know, yeah. Flight, traveling, the lifting, and then the, the pile of mail. And the... <laughs> you just need a permanent vacation. Yeah. That's what I said. We're working on that. Yeah. Uh, it seems like so far this year we've been on vacation more than we've been home. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Good. You earned it, man. Yeah. You worked hard. Yeah. Enjoy. Let me check it.